Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday, the last day of the fourth week of the first term of the spring semester 2022. And I just wanted to sit down and record a video on my thoughts of this week. School is keeping me a lot busier than it was a few weeks ago when the term first started. On top of that, I have also started tutoring for the college. I just finished my second week of tutoring for the college. In total, at this point, I am working 30 hours a week tutoring plus I am also a full-time student. The tutoring that I've been doing through the college has kept me really busy. The participation this semester has been very high compared to other semesters, which is good because I really enjoy interacting with the student. And it also gives me that motivation that sometimes I need to continue when things get tough, especially in my bachelor's degree program. For my HIM management and leadership class, again, this week's theme was reading. There were five different chapters that were assigned out of the small book that I showed previously. The topics of those readings range from leadership to human resources. So there was a lot of reading to do. A lot of the reading out of the smaller book, to me, it seems like a lot of it is common sense, but that could be because I've been in the workforce for almost 18 years. I've been part of teams where we had great leaders and in other teams, I've had not so great leaders. So I am aware of those differences in an actual real life scenario. And as I said earlier, one of the chapters was on leadership. In addition to the reading, I also had the typical weekly discussion. And this week, the topic was management versus leadership. We had to reply to this topic with our opinion of the difference between leadership and management and also further developing your thoughts on can a good manager be a good leader? or can a bad leader be a good manager. According to our reading on leadership, management and leadership are synonyms, just like we learned in previous weeks that delegation and empowerment are also synonyms. Right now, in the world we live in, it seems like the words leadership and empowerment are the words that everyone is using and management and delegation have become old terms. Along with that discussion, we also had two additional assignments. We had part two of the course project to complete. The part two of the course project consisted of a couple questions on how to negotiate a salary, with an employee as well as with resources such as HR. And there was another part of part two that consisted of two to three paragraphs on the importance of an effective onboarding of a new employee plus new employee training and orientation. In addition to that assignment, we also had an additional assignment on leadership where we had to identify our style of leadership. There are five different types of leadership that are textbook, the smaller textbook, discussed this week in our readings and we had to complete an activity at the end of that leadership chapter that would help us identify our leadership type as well as a quiz on the web that the instructor wanted us to complete which also would help us identify our leadership style. It turns out that my leadership style is participative leadership which I completely agree with. As I said earlier, all these years an employee have really showed me the effect of bad management and the effect of good management. And I've been really lucky that I have, for the most part, encountered very good leaders in my life that have definitely made an impact in my life and have believed in me and encouraged me to pursue a career in health information management. And without them, I would definitely not be here today. So that was pretty much it for my HIM management and leadership class. For my HIM practicum class, I actually had two meetings with my professor who is facilitating my internship this term last week. They were an hour each and as I mentioned before my internship is a little bit different it's not a traditional HIM internship that most of my classmates are doing and the reason behind that is because one of the reasons I went back to school and I am now working on earning my bachelor's degree is because I want to be an HIM or HIT instructor at a community college I felt that investing my internship hours and my bachelor's degree program into an internship that would help me become an HIM or HIT 
safety instructor would be best for me. And I was very fortunate that my program director agreed and she is facilitating my internship. As I said earlier, we met last week twice for an hour each meeting. And during the first hour, she had a presentation for me and the topics were HIM programs. And we talked about the difference between an accredited KHIM program versus a non-accredited KHIM program. We spent a lot of time talking about the whole KHIM accreditation process and the recertification of that accreditation. She has helped about eight different HIM, HIT programs become accredited by KHIM. She has a lot of knowledge on KHIM accreditation. During the second meeting, we talked about more of the foundation of teaching. She had a presentation for me where we talked about how to create assignments, how to create a syllabus, student learning outcomes, Bloom's taxonomy. And a lot of this information was a review, but it was really nice to hear it from her because some of it was a review, but she was also able to give me additional guidance that I had never had before. Overall, things are going pretty well. I have seen an increase in workload as the weeks go by. The workload from next week will definitely increase based on what I've already looked into a little bit ahead of time. Overall, the workload has increased as the weeks continue. Next week, I will definitely have more schoolwork to do than this week. And next week will be the fifth week of the term. So we are really close to the end of this term, which is really surprising because time has gone by really quickly. I still have to do quite a bit of my internship hours. There's a total of 40 internship hours that I have to do with my professor. And then there is, I believe the other 40 hours of the internship, which is spent on virtual projects in B-Lab. This week for my practicum class, we also had some B-Lab activities to complete. This week's topics for my internship class were the third domain of the RHIA exam, which is data informatics and data governance. We also had in the HEMA B-Lab activity to complete that related to the third domain of the RHIA exam. The B-Lab activity consisted of using Excel and Tableau. I have used Tableau in the past. I was first introduced to Tableau via my Google Data Analytics Certificate program where we spent quite a bit of time in Tableau. It was nice to be able to go back in Tableau. And I actually believe I've already completed this B-Lab activity as part of my associate's degree, just like the activity that was assigned last week. Some of these activities for me are more of a review and they are not new to me because I've already completed my associate's degree in health information technology and some of my classmates have not gone through an associate's program. They went straight to the bachelor's degree program. Well, that is it for week four of term two. Tomorrow, week five begins and I am looking forward to meeting with my instructor one more time before she assigns my internship project. And I am also looking forward to connecting with more students via my tutoring role at the college. I hope you had a great week and I hope to see you next week. See you soon.